Microsoft executives are likely breathing a sign of relief today. Just one day after opening up pre-orders for Surface Root, the company has sold out of its least expensive 30 to GB model. Microsoft's Surface pre-order page now states that the $500 tablet, which does not come with a touch cover, will ship within three weeks. The other two Surface Root options, both of which come bundled with a black touch cover, still promise an October 26 delivery date. Given that the touch cover is a major selling point of Surface Root, it's a little odd thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. That the model that doesn't ship with one would be first to sell out. It's possible that sales were driven people who want a cover in a color other than black, and aren't buying both separately. It's also possible that Microsoft intentionally kept supply for the $500 model lower than the higher-end models. It's unclear how many of this specific model Microsoft made available for pre-order. And the company isn't spilling any beans, other than to let us know that more will be available. When asked for the specific number of units sold, the Microsoft spokesperson said, Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. No numbers to share. The $499 one is now on back order so that means that SKU is out but all three scoops will be ready for launch day. Both higher than Surface RDS, which come with the much admired touch cover, are still available on the Microsoft Store, indicating that demand for the device has not reached the crazed if any, more iPad-like level. And consumers who want to choose the color of their touch cover might still opt to wait for the $500 Surface route to return to sales channels. In any case, the sold out thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Model is a good sign for Microsoft, given that the Surface Root is its first foray into building its own tablet. It's too soon to know if it's a hit, but at the very least it isn't a dud.